Good day, guys. I am Barista Root Oheha Ikrigui, founder of Legal Root Solutions. And at Legal Root Solutions, we help you with the basic legal foundation for your business. So today, I'm here to share with you three must have legal documents for every business. Watch this. Number one certificate of registration so this is like the first and basic legal document for every business certificate of registration is the certificate issued by the corporate affairs commission cac popularly called yes so they offer you they give you this certificate certifying that you are registered your business is registered with the corporate affairs commission and that is the that's like the basic one now what are the advantages of having a, a certificate of registration or registering under the CEC? number one it gives you an official name that is exclusive to you and anyone that tries to use that name can actually get himself sued number two it gives you credibility among your business partners and prospective investors or partners that want to partner with you number three it actually also if for instance you're registered as a company you have a limited liability you know protection you're protected from all the risk and liability that is on the regular business owner the business name owner so you have that um protection all the liabilities do not fall on you directly because your company is seen as a person in law a legal entity in law that can stand on its own isn't that amazing another advantage is that also you can succeed you can share your you can sell your shares out to someone your children can inherit your shares you can sell it or you can even use it as a as a guarantee in case you want to get a loan or something it gives you lots of advantage number two intellectual property agreements now you would agree with me that every business actually has a form of intellectual property whether or not you know it and what is intellectual property just like the name suggests you know the property of intellect yeah just as we have physical properties the law also make provisions for intellectual properties so if you're an artist you know or an artist like you draw or you know you do anything that has to do with creativity creativity you're an author and all those kind of things you actually are protected by the law you're protected by the law but you actually have to take a step to secure those rights you know to protect yourself so that anyone that wants to do business with you can actually you know get to sign an agreement and that agreement will actually now state the rights that you're sharing with that person the level to which you're sharing the rights and the boundaries it will define everything so someone can't just come probably steal your recipe or steal your idea that you shared with a person and then use it for his own profit when you do this when you have the when you have your intellectual property you know um, um documents you are secured number three <laughs> number three service agreement now service agreement what service agreement it is the agreement that regulates the services that you offer the products the services that you offer so you would need in your in, in your business you would you would need to relate with clients you would need to relate with partners you would have employees you have people that want to transact with you service agreements simply states your your obligations you know what what you are expecting from them and what they are expecting from you and so everyone is stuck with that boundary everyone stays within the boundaries and the, the 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 limitations that that document has provided for anyone that goes beyond that actually has a liability to incur so as a business owner this is a document you need to protect yourself so that people that people that want to do shady deals will not come and say no you said this and this is what you're doing or all of that stuff so this would help you to define everything in clear cut mm -hmm. terms 
and help you to deliver top-notch services, help you to regulate what happens in your business. Even as an employer, you might have people working under you. People will not just come, mess with you, do this and go. So this is what a service agreement is all about. <laughs>